Hello everyone, today we are gonna make a simple 2D platformer controller with double or even triple jumps or as many jumps as you want. We start off with a fairly simple scene, it's just a few cubes and a few platforms. They are nothing else than sprites, we are gonna give them colliders and else what later. And if anybody is interested, the art style is inspired by neutral space. Now we are gonna start off creating a new c -sharp script and naming it Player Controller. Now after opening the script in Visual Studio, we are gonna delete the two basic functions and start to create some variables to determine our player movement. First we are gonna create a public float speed and this is just gonna determine how fast our player will be going in the end. Then a private float move input, more on that in a second. And also a private rigid body 2D RB. That's just gonna determine the physics of the player. Now we need the start function that we deleted in the beginning again. And in that we are just gonna get the rigid body of the player to later give the rigid body velocity. Now we wanna actually move the player. This is gonna happen through a fixed update. We use a fixed update because it doesn't use frames like the update function. In that we are gonna set the move input to input.get axis raw horizontal. This is to just determine if we are going left or right and how strong. After that we are gonna give the rigid body the actual velocity and this is gonna happen through rigid body dot velocity equals new vector to move input time speed and then just the rigid body velocity dot y. So what is happening is that we set the velocity of the player to the direction times the speed. This is resulting in a force or rather in a movement of the player. Now back in Unity we are gonna assign the script to the player and assign some random value as the speed. Then we are gonna give the player a rigid body 2D and assign a value to the gravity scale so the movement doesn't feel so floaty in the end when we add the jump. The last thing we are going to do is give a box collider 2D to the platforms and the player that we want to stand on. I would advise you to change the box collider on the player so the player doesn't look floating over the boxes or more exactly over the platforms. Next thing we are going to fix is the facing of the player so if he walks left he's looking left and he if he walks right he's gonna look right and this is gonna happen through a private boolean we're just gonna name it face right and then set it to true because we want him to look at the right side of the screen when he's spawning now in the fixed update we are gonna check if he's facing left but walking right and then in this we are gonna change his direction of facing and we are also gonna do the exact opposite in an else if now we are gonna go over the actual flipping of the player we are first gonna create a new function and naming it flip in that we are gonna invert the facing direction Then creating a new vector 3 scalar and setting it equal to the transform.local scale. And now we are gonna flip the actual player. For this, we are just gonna set the scale on the x axis to a negative value, just multiplying it by minus 1. Then the only thing left to do is setting the local scale of the player to the scaler. 
Now we just need to call the flip function every time the player faces in the wrong direction when moving. And that's all the flipping done. We simply start off by just creating a few variables. We are gonna start with a public float jump force, which is just gonna determine how high the player will jump. We are gonna follow that up by a private boolean is grounded to check if the player is grounded. We also want a position to check where is grounded is. So we are just gonna add a public transform. And we also want a radius to check. So we are just gonna create a public float here. And after that, we are gonna create a layer mask to check if the layer is actually ground and not something else. And we also want some extra jumps, so we are gonna create two integers. One is the current extra jumps, how many we have left. And the other one is how many extra jumps there are in total. We are starting off by re-adding the update function and asking in it if the player is grounded. When yes, we are just gonna reset the extra jumps. So we have all of them again. Now that the reset works, we are going to create the actual jumping. We are going to start off with an if and asking in it if the player presses W. And we also have extra jumps left. Now we let the player actually jump by setting the velocity of the rigid body or more exactly the upwards force times the jump force and then we are gonna decrease the extra jumps by one and then we are just gonna create an else if in which we ask if the player presses w is already underground but the extra jumps weren't reset yet and then we let the player jump again the last thing to complete the script and the movement in general is just to create an empty game object and place it on the player's feet and make it a child of the player and then just assigning it to the player. We can also now give the player multiple jumps and set the check radius to something around 0.1 and giving the player a jump force. Now we just need to create a new layer and naming it ground and assigning it to all the platforms in the level. Last thing we are doing is creating a is ground equals to physics dot overlap circle. With the position of the ground check and the check radius and also are what is ground. Now just freeze the position of the rigid body and play a bit around with the values and everything will be perfect. I'd like to thank you all for just supporting the channel and supporting everything I do in general. This was how to create a 2D player script.